What's poppin' you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm making cream cheese Oreo cookies and whipped coffee. And if you keep watching, you can find out why it didn't taste that good just now. I tried my best. Before we get into it, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'll wait. But I won't wait that long. You need to get to it when, when as this video goes on. Make sure you guys do it. Like and subscribe. Comment. But yeah, let's get into this video. Okay. Kettle pup. Okay. Alright. I'm going to start with the um, Oreo cheesecake cookies. You're going to need 8 ounces of cream cheese. Philadelphia. Alright. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, good. Mm, good. Then you're gonna need a stick of butter. I had to get Danish butter, whatever that means, because we're out, we're out of everything. As last week, we're still out. I thought if I waited, you know, I could find some regular butter. No. Now I'm down to Danish random butter. But unsalted, please. Unsalted. Um, stick of butter. Bah. One cup and a half of sugar. I had to get this sugar because, as I said, supplies is low. And it was pretty much the whole bottle. I'm so annoyed I have no sugar left. But it's about 12 ounces. It took me a while to read this. Period. <coughs> mm. That was sugar, not the Rona. Now you're going to beat it. I'm kind of breaking a sweat right now. And I didn't know this was going to require this much labor. But just beat it until it's smooth. Okay, this is a consistency that I'm working with right now. This is very strenuous. Okay, you need some arms. You need, okay, but you know, work out before we work out these cookies. Now you need two cups of flour. And I have this European one because, as I said, everything was sold out. So, I mean, hopefully it doesn't change the taste. Add in the two cups of flour slowly. Like blend and then boop, then blend and boop, then blend and boop. Like you don't want to make a mess in your house. Unless you do want to, but I'm not going to. So blend slowly. So this is what I meant by blend and boop, then blend and boop, then blend and boop. You just add a little bit of flour, you blend it a little bit, and then you just keep it moving. Then you take a break because strenuous, breaking sweats, and then you just wipe off the excess with a knife, and that's about it. Now you're going to crush up some Oreos and... Make sure they're like big crushy teas. I'll show y'all, but make sure you taste test it first to make sure like it'll taste good. You know what I mean? I know you'll like some ASMR. Let me... Mm. Now for real. Crush it up. I'm not going to tell you what to do next. Okay, so basically I broke the cookie in four and separated it from the creamy part. And then I like put it in there and I wanted it to be chunky. Ew. Wow, okay. And then I put it in the little the little dough kind of mixture thing, and I like mix it all together with my hands. Yeah, I had to touch it. It was a little disgusting, and yeah, you just you need that jump, and that's about it. So something like this, it's not get my hair in it. Put it in the fridge for thirty minutes, and then preheat your oven to three fifty, and then after thirty minutes, you can put it in the oven. Okay, so all you gotta do is just line some aluminum foil with some unsalted butter or use parchment paper, but I didn't have any. And then just put dollops of that, that mixture we just made, and then it'll be ready for that action. Now you're gonna put it in the oven for 15 to 16 minutes. I hope this comes out good. They look a little suspect. So oven to 15, 16 minutes, and then we're gonna move on to the, um, the whipped coffee. Let's get it. Before we get into this whipped coffee, I just want to say it's very depressing, but I looked at the ingredients and it said two tablespoons of um, ground coffee, then two tablespoons of sugar, and then two tablespoons of hot water. Now, at the beginning, this is going good. I was like, okay, I got the ingredients, and then you just whisk it for three to five minutes. Then I was like, okay, let me grab the whisker thingy, and nothing was changing. I was like, yo, what did I do wrong? So then I was like, okay, what if I just add more of everything so that's what i did next and um yeah it didn't go well as you can see all i did here was just waste a lot of products and when i tell you i whisked for about an hour and a half and nothing happened i am so 
annoyed nothing happened and i don't know what i did wrong so if you know what i did wrong please let me know in the comments below there is no there is no light at the end of this tunnel it's not working i don't know why it won't work i've been blending for like 15 55 minutes the cookies are ready they're good but this whipped coffee right here is not whipping i don't know what i did wrong but it's not whipping so i'm gonna just taste it as is it might be a little bitter you know what i'm saying like i don't know what i did wrong uh, whatever we're gonna taste it anyway this was the goal. So I'm going to take my almond milk. And I'm going to take some of the whipped coffee. I'm going to mix it. Bottoms up. Hmm. It actually doesn't taste that bad. It's a little grainy, but itty what itty. Would I drink it every day? No. Would I make it again? No. But. I tried. Now let's get some taste testers in the building. Keep your face up when you chew. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> what did you think? I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. Because that's not an Oreo milkshake. That's a coffee I tried to make. Ah, what's wrong with you? Oh. Really? What? <laughs> it tastes like normal cookies. <laughs> okay, but is it good? Yeah, it's good. You don't seem impressed. But you know those Harris Teeter cookies you get for free. Wow. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Okay. But no, good job. Six out of ten. It does taste like Harry's cookies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so but would you eat it again? Yeah, it's Harry's Tears cookies. Like they're free. I like them though. You I like it? Okay, I know I kind of failed on the coffee espresso ting, but like it's okay because sometimes legends fail. It happens. It, it gets it feels like that sometimes. But the cookies are pretty good. They gave an okay reaction on it. I think they were good, but I like everything. So, but yeah, thank you guys for watching videos every Sunday. And sometimes I post a little bit throughout the week. Maybe I might even retry the coffee thing because I just feel so bad for failing. Like, why did I fail so hard? But yeah, thanks for watching. I love you guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Bye.